This is Dr. R. Anil Kumar, and I am pleased to welcome you for this second session of online classes. I hope you understood the introduction session on Adobe Photoshop. Now it's time for us to further proceed with the various modules of Photoshop for textile application. Now let us launch the Adobe Photoshop CS6, here I will be demonstrating with the extended version of Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop CS6 is a powerful graphic editing program that allows you to create and manipulate images for print, the web and other media. Before proceeding further I would like to give an introduction to the Photoshop workspace. To the top of the screen is the menu bar containing menus such as File, Edit, Image, Layer, Type, Select and so on. Below the menu bar is the property bar containing all the properties for the selected tool or menu. To the right side of the screen appears a set of palettes that can be shown or hidden by using the window menu and selecting the palette you wish to reveal. Palettes can be organized in many different ways in the Photoshop workspace. The Layers palette contain the list of all layers in an image. And a thumbnail of layers contents appears to the left of the layer name. You can use the Layers palette to create, hide, display, copy, merge and delete layers. To the left side of the screen is the Tools palette that houses all of the Photoshop's wonderful tools. Let us now begin with the module Textile Design. A textile is classified into weaving, knitting, non-woven, hand loom, power loom etc. Let's now learn how to create woven fabric structure. Select File and New. The new dialog box appears. Type the name as plain weave as we are going to begin with plain weave. The plain weave has a minimum repeat of 2 in warp and 2 in weft and keep the settings as pixels and the resolution to 96 pixels per inch and click OK. Now a new document with file name plain weave is created. You can now zoom in the document using Ctrl plus plus key in the keyboard. Now select the pencil tool from the tools palette and you can see that the mouse pointer turned to a square. If you select the brush tool the mouse pointer will turn to a circle which is not desired for weave structures. Hence we use pencil tool to create weave structure. Select the desired color and place two opposite marks for the warp and two cross mark for the weft. Now that we have done it, it is now needed to convert the image into a pattern. Select edit and define pattern. The pattern name dialog box appears. Type the name is plain weave and click OK. It is now time to preview the weave pattern that we have created. So click on file menu and select new. The new dialog box appears. In the new dialog box set the width and height to 500 pixels and click OK. We can hide the grid lines visible on the new document by going to view and uncheck the extras option. This will remove the grid lines from the new document. Now select edit and fill, the fill dialog box appears. Select the pattern from the custom pattern that we have already created. Fill the 
Keep the blending mode to be normal and click OK. Now the pattern is filled to the document. Press Ctrl plus plus to zoom in to see the weave pattern, and the final step is to save the pattern as fabric swatch. Here I have a personalized Photoshop folder where I save the image as plainweave.jpg and click OK. Now let us open the saved fabric swatch by going to File and Open and selecting the image that we had just now created. Thank you all for listening to me. I will again come to you with another useful session on textile design. Till then this is Dr. R. Anil Kumar, Assistant Professor in Textiles and Apparel Design, Periyar University, Salem, India Bye Bye. <laughs>